Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the best partition manager for Windows 11 24H2. In this video, we're talking about Isis Partition Master. This is a very simplistic software and a really simple to use one. I used software from Isis even in the Windows XP days, and they've been around in the market for a long, long time. And as far as I know, the majority of their products are pretty high quality. They are pretty well viewed in the Windows community all around. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Isis Partition Master. And what you can do with it because you can do a whole bunch of stuff from changing partitions, formatting, resizing, merging, and more. You can even do disk clone, you can convert disks, you can recover partitions, you can create a bootable media to recover your Windows 11 password and so on. So I think this software is really good. In this video, we're going to try to go through some of the most interesting and useful features that this software provides. So of course, if you want to check it out for yourself, you're going to find more information in the description below. But for now, let's talk about the software a bit. As you can see, we are in the main interface which is partition manager inside discovery of course you have some info about certain other products that they provide but in partition manager you can see all of your disks as you can see i have a lot of disks here because i'm testing windows 11 and Saturn preview builds on this laptop it's only a 500 gigabytes ssd on this laptop and i have about four different windows versions installed on this computer of course all of them being installed on different partitions but as you can see you can see in-depth info about your disks and you have here a selection that you can do you can mount virtual disks of course this is something that you can also do by default in windows 11 using the new settings app but of course this software also provides these options and of course if you ever connect something new you can just click on the refresh button to see more information as you can see we have also certain warnings that tell us which partition is low on space and also we have this thing that shows us drives that are locked with bitlocker so for those of you who watch this channel of course you may know that bitlocker is something that will automatically enable on clean installs so if you want to manually disable that of course you can watch one of my previous videos but as you can see one of my drives i think the one with the release preview channel is continuing to enable bitlocker by itself after upgrading to new builds and of course the options that you have on a certain partition are to clone slash migrate os this will basically do a backup of your whole partition and you can migrate it to another ssd of course if you're changing your computer and get a whole bunch of new components i recommend you to do a clean install but of course if you're in the situation that you cannot do a clean install because you have a lot of important files and you don't have any backup partitions of course this is also an option that you can try out you can also resize and move format delete merge data migrate extend slash shrink and allocate space change label surface test change cluster size check file system explore and details and of course in details you can see more info about the partition and so on one thing that i like about easy's partition master is that it can use it to extend slash shrink devices even though they are an os partition by default in windows you cannot do that because Windows doesn't have the capability to extend a Windows volume because that will of course need a restart but with software like Isis you can easily do that so for example let's take this partition which I think has about 26 gigabytes free if I'm gonna click on extend slash shrink what you're also gonna see is that drives that have a bitlocker encryption will be turned off during the execution process so you have to unlock them first before doing anything else of course if you have free space you can allocate it you can change the label and so on certain easy things that you can also do in Windows. Let's go to Disk Clone and here we have more options related to cloning. One of the easiest things that you can do is to clone a partition. Basically just copy a partition and create another one with the same files, same data. I'm not really sure what you would do this but I'm sure that there are certain situations in which you need to do this. Also clone data disk. You can clone data from one disk to another. Also migrate and clone OS disks. This is a more complex process because an OS disk of course will need to also migrate all the drivers and so on. On. But as I've said, if you're changing your computer altogether and changing also components, my recommendation would be to do a clean install. But if you cannot do that, of course, you can use a software like Isis Partition Master to migrate your OS. Inside Disk Converter, you can convert certain disks MBR to GPT, GPT to MBR. These are some classic disk conversion tools because, for example, if you want to go from Windows 10 to Windows 11, basically upgrade, you're going to need to do a conversion like this. I've done a video a few years ago, a few months after the Windows 11 release, and a lot of users encountered this issue as they needed to convert their partitions to GPT and of course you can do that using the BIOS and some commands but it's easier to do it within a software like Isis Partition Master because you have the graphical user interface and it's way easier so for example convert MBR to GPT to select that you have to select the drive and easily convert it of course this won't require a restart you also have the partition recovery section which you can use to recover a lost partition there are certain causes for which a partition can get 
might last, but with using Easy's Partition Master, you can do that. Also create bootable media. This will help you, especially on Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'm not sure if this has support for the latest version, but you can create a bootable media that will help you recover certain things from your locked computer. For example, you don't remember your password, you can create a bootable media, you're gonna have created a USB drive, you can also create the ISO or mount it to a CD slash DVD. And lastly, we have the toolkit, which contains features such as data migration, Windows ISO, password reset, bit repair, write protection, rebuild MBR, 4K alignment, and more. I'm not going in depth with these features, as you can see, because it's really, really simple to do. Basically, you don't have anything that would cause you trouble here, because of course, you're using the graphical user interface, you have all the information you need and all the explanations here. And of course, you can check out Jesus's official website if you want to learn how to use their products in a more in-depth way. So as I've said, as a conclusion, if you're not happy with the options that Windows 11 offers you and you want something more complex and that something that allows you to do more tasks using your partitions and disks, you can try out Eases Partition Master. You can also try it for free under certain limitations, of course. You can also get the pro version if you want the more in-depth and complex features. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one from the TechBase channel. Also, please don't forget to check out Eases Partition Master from the description below. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, I wish you all a nice day.